Welcome back to The Social Experiment with Sunny and Shay. So in this last hour of the show, we have been talking about different perspectives. We've had Mr. Green, Mr. Red, Mr. Orange and Miss Blue giving us their thoughts on the right or perhaps wrong way to religiously cull meat, but also vegetarianism as well. Now it's a big reveal. These guys have never met before, although for the past 45 minutes they've been talking. They have indeed. So it's now time for them to see who they've been discussing this subject with. We'll start with Mr. Green and Mr. Red. If you could just remove your blindfolds, please. Whoa. Wow. Whilst wow. you adjust to the light, right. can uh, we please okay. ask um, Miss Blue and Mr. Orange, could you please also reveal your blindfolds? Right. Wow. Oh, wow. Oh, oh. Take your time to just adjust to the light, guys. Welcome back. <laughs> yeah, welcome back. <laughs> you look amazing. Right. So, if you would, let's start with Mr. Red. Could you tell us who you are, please, Mr. Uh, Red? My name is Inti. I'm uh, 21 years old, and I'm from Birmingham, basically. Ooh. And, and Mr. Mr. Green? Yeah, and name's Old Boy. And like Sorry, what is it? Old, old Boy. Old, old Boy. boy. Yeah. yeah uh, Libyan, 22 years old. Libya nice. from 22, okay. And yourself, Miss Blee? I'm Kirsty. I work for an animal rights charity in London, and I'm from Manchester. Mm-hmm. And I'm Luke, and I'm from Birmingham. Well, my Snapchat is Luke Fabian. F A I B I A. So now, I guess if you if you want to look at each other, and did you expect uh, the views that were coming? Yeah. Did you vision them like that? Let's start with you, uh, Luke. Uh, uh, no, sorry, Luke. Okay, let's start with yourself. When you when you were uh, when you were hearing the uh, the views of the people that you're discussing with, did you imagine them to be this way, or did you think they were going to be different? No, yeah, I thought. Well, you, you kind of have you have like an image in your head, yeah. but at the same time. Um, you don't know I ain't an exact image. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought that these are the type of people I'd be sitting with. Possibly. So, so here's the thing: that did it make it easier for you to express yourself while you were blindfolded, or did you find it more frustrating? Um, at first, it was obviously at the first. I think I think the first like the first bit was a bit weird, but um, after you get a bit com- a bit more comfortable with it and you go along with it, so yeah, I think it got better as it got. On. What's your perspective? Are you quite shocked at seeing um, perhaps the fact that Luke is a vegetarian and the views yeah. that he had? Would you expect someone like Luke perhaps to, to be a vegetarian? Yeah, because look, he's got a good physique. I've seen bodybuilders with oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, it's not like, it's not a word. Well, you being shocked. a meteor, I thought you were a lot bigger. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have metabolism, so. Oh, yeah. fair enough. <laughs> what about Kirsty, yourself? I think the same, actually. It was a bit strange to have a blindfold on at first. Um, but after a while, you kind of ju- I just kind of closed my eyes and got on with it. Yeah. So. <laughs> and Mr. No, Red, you I, find I, it difficult. I didn't didn't like it. Why is I, that? I, like I don't know. It was just too. It was just disorienting, really. Uh huh. And just like half the time, I couldn't even hear the questions properly. I was just like, yeah. But you're not using your eyes to hear. Right? Yeah, I know. But it's like <laughs> I don't really get it. It's just yeah. like it was just like oh, I wouldn't like it. And the thing is that you know when you were expressing yourself, did you feel comfortable enough to? say what you wanted to say because obviously you didn't know when people you made this point didn't mm. you Miss um, um, Blue Kirsty uh, that uh, when you didn't know when you could interject yeah. and say but when you're looking at each other you know when someone's just about yeah, yeah, round yeah. up or you can get their intention yeah. but here's the thing that you let people finish their point so therefore you could get the full point and get in with it did you find that much easier to respond to and not misunderstand what someone was saying yeah I guess having kind of like a mediator yourself mm. to say right we're going to let you talk yeah. and then you talk probably works quite well to get both sides of, of an argument. Now that you can all see each other, mm-hmm. is there something that Luke perhaps you'd like to say to the guys or the other way around that you'd like to say to each other? Because yeah. obviously we've got very opposing, it's quite divided down the yeah. table as to where you all stand. It's a mud hole, you've got us sitting yeah. there. Yeah. Got <laughs> it, it, to, to people we like didn't it. It yeah. like that, to be honest. What I did want to mention actually, yeah. uh, there's, well, there's a few things, but the size of a chicken, for instance, mm-hmm. yeah. the size of a chicken in real life is what? Yeah. 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 But when it's on the plate in a in a store, it's like this. Yeah. So like that alone, that alone scared me when I first started looking into things. The fact that what I was eating was not actually natural in, in a sense, anyway. So um, like if, you, if you go to a shop and you buy organic chicken, like mm-hmm. when, uh, when I go to sometimes I, I when I was eating everything organically as much as I could, it's very expensive. But when yeah. I was doing it, um. I was trying to get my nephew to do it as well, so I, I ended up buying him some organic chicken. And like a whole chicken was tiny mm. compared to if I was to go to Nando's and buy him a whole chicken, it was huge. Mm. So that alone showed me that like what I was eating was not natural in a sense anyway. So does that scare yeah. you? What do you guys uh, no, it depends on it. Like I said, it's most likely shops or food places, takeaways, or whatever. So we, I, 
Did my mum buy the But did she buy food? organic though? Yeah, she did. Because you said it's cheaper. Muscle. Halal, halal, halal oh yeah, food. So I'm, I've been raised with that, so uh-huh. I'm not. Because you're from Libya, yeah, obviously yeah. over there. Um, uh, tell us about how do you consume meat there? Is it n- normally cold? Within the shop that they happen, or does it come from most an abattoir? Most of it's fresh, like it literally on, it's, on yeah, the day. On the yeah, premises. Yeah. It's like a moth. It's same with like me. I'm from Pakistan. Right. Like, I've been there, and it's just if you want to get a chicken slaughtered, it's mm-hmm. done right there right. in front of you. Mm-hmm. And so, and do like, you not find what you know what uh, Luke was saying that you know you don't know what you're eating in this country and how that meat is mm-hmm. produced yeah, and yeah, that that, that is understandable. Yeah, like if you go like an organic chicken is tiny and like yeah. because of the feeding and the way they fed and the way they like you know. To come to come to slaughtering. I don't know, depending on where you go as well, right? Uh-huh. Like I said mostly like it'll be takeaways and stuff like that. Yeah. Is there a question that either of you had perhaps for Kirsty or for mm. Luke? Is this something that you'd like to ask them or make no, a I'm still getting used to the lights. <laughs> 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 well, after you do that, Kirsty, what did you want to say? Because obviously you're talking point about point. meat and you are a part of a campaign to stop everyone eating meat. Yeah. How do you feel about some of the opinions that were shared here in the room? I think a lot of people in this country have very, very similar opinions, mm-hmm. but and in fact, I did as well when I was a meat eater. I right. ate a lot of chicken. I just went along with it because that's what I always had done and that's what most of the people around me were doing. Mm-hmm. But I would just encourage anyone, uh, you know, anyone watching as well, just to think about things a bit more, do some research. And, you know, anyone can go veggie or vegan. Any, Absolutely anyone can do it. My brother, for example, he lived on takeaways, mm-hmm. chicken, KFC, all the you know, stuff on the high street every single day mm-hmm. and he's gone vegan like if he can do it honestly anyone can um let me ask yourself this question and also because obviously you used to eat meat as well mm-hmm. did you all feel comfortable when kirsty specifically was not saying meat from the beginning of the show and i suspect you always do anyway mm-hmm. um always referred to meat what we would call meat whether it's chicken or lamb or she- whatever it is as flesh would you call it like that? How do you feel about the fact that she's calling it flesh? It's fine because that's the way Yeah, you because, is, you know, if she doesn't want to use the word meat mm-hmm. and if it offends her and what she believes in, then of course if she wants to call it flesh, she can call it flesh. Do you not feel uncomfortable but if someone says, oh, here's some flesh, eat some flesh? No, but uh, <laughs> like, like if he was to give me food, I don't think he would call it flesh. No, but if he, did, if, if he did, if he did. No. If you were at, out and he goes, no, I'll oh. probably think about it, oh, flesh, oh, okay, but they're all digging it. It's just reality, it is flesh. So yeah, would you ever, it, I guess, you know, because you said I'm never going to question my religion or yeah. anything like that uh, because that's the way you've been brought up. So at what point do you then start thinking and questioning what you've been taught since you were a child if something that you sort of disagree with? Mm. How would you approach that kind of conversation with your community, number one, and also with your peers and your parents? So, for example, you became a vegetarian. Your parents have been eating meat all their mm. lives. How do you then start that conversation thinking, you know, guys, we need to wear away from this? And how do you open that discussion when you have been brought up a certain way? I think it's asking questions. You right. Know, as Luke was saying, you, when you look into where these animals come from and what the conditions are that they're mm. kept in, like if you just do a Google search, you can find so many hours of footage of what it's like for animals on factory farms and mm-hmm. in slaughterhouses. Mm-hmm. And I don't, I defy anyone to watch that and not be uncomfortable, you know. Um, how you can listen to an animal screaming and think that that's okay and that that you want to buy that product is just beyond me. But of course, it wasn't always. Mm. I, d- I wasn't born vegan for example Mm. it's just a process and that's my aim is to start people on that process of thinking and questioning things it's it's funny you said that because you were never born a vegan but then you were never born a meat eater either it's what 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 is introduced Mm. to you like you've said you know no but i don't think like if i can't like i went to my community or went to my parents yes and said to my dad mom i want to stop eating meat i don't think they would be against it right because like you said islamically Islamically, you can eat meat and you can eat vegetables Mm -hmm. it's up to you like if I even took it to the mosque or somewhere wherever I went and said, "Look, guys, I'm giving up," no one would like turn a frown. So that means it's not about religion, thing. then. That means yeah. it's all. No, about it's just all, the choice. religion part is that the meat has to be halal. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like, like if I'm going to consume meat, mm-hmm. it has to be halal meat. Yeah. I wouldn't want stunned meat, or because that goes against my religion. But halal meat can be stunned, as the Halal Food Authority says. They actually support stunning animals before killing. And in this country, uh, that's how you have to cull meat by stunning it. So how do you feel about that? You're actually consuming something you believe that's no, but no, but if like because I'm not I'm not two hundred percent on like okay. how like I haven't done my research about right. if th- that's what's been said on the news or this is how the Islamic mm-hmm. community mm-hmm. are doing it. But if if it Islamically, then if you put that if that's how it's being done, mm-hmm. then I. I really so you're saying you're not going to question your faith? No, I'm not going to question my faith. Whatever my faith go. does, I okay. will follow. Okay. Is is there meat that you don't eat? Say that. Is yeah. there any meat that you don't? Yeah, eat? like pork. 
<coughs> so that's the yeah, only, and like, is that the only like, uh, uh, Muslims, you know, that the um, uh, like Claude Meat prays. Yeah, yeah prays. That, uh, predators, animals that prey on the. Uh, uh, like, yeah, they can't eat. So you can't eat, like. like, like, like bird, bird, that's why I said you could Like, I wouldn't eat my pet dog because that's like an animal that eats other animals that could potentially eat other animals. So we eat animals that are like grass fed or like seed fed, like chickens, sheep. Got it's only that stuff like. So you you're only vegetarian animals. Yeah, basically. Have a vegetarian yeah. diet. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. What's your that. perspective on that? Um, have you ever seen what it's like for animals who are raised in yeah. the country? Yeah, we have. Uh, yeah. What you've been to an No, like in YouTube, this country. Like, like you know, not not in this country. Yeah, like. that's what she's asking. In this country, have you been to some of these big factory farms where they, you know rare meat just for our consumption as a commodity like you said earlier on mm. no, no, no no is that something you perhaps would consider doing yeah yeah well, I, I would i would go and see how it's done or how the animals are treated but mm -hmm. i don't think it would like really change my judgment uh, on it's my eating. impression that halal meat is supposed to be the, the kindest mm. um option at least when it was created it was and that there should be a minimi minimization of suffering for it to be halal but in today's factory farms, there is absolutely no way to not have those animals suffering. So I would actually even argue that any animals that you get, whether they're halal slaughtered or not, mm -hmm. they have suffered for their entire lives. And that means that it is not halal, it is not kind meat. Mm -hmm. um, so I would urge you then to just think about that and think, well, has this come from suffering or has it come from kindness? And is that something that me and my faith want to support? Mm -hmm. I think that's Good a fair take. point to end yeah, on, and yeah, perhaps yeah. we'll leave it there. Luke, Kirsty, um, Inti, and also a boy, yeah. thank you so much for joining us thank and you. for being involved in this thank discussion. You thank, yeah. you yeah. uh, thank you guys, and also there's going to be so more social experiment next week. It certainly is. Now, if throughout this show perhaps your viewpoints have changed, or at some point one or many of our guests have actually got you thinking, why not go to Twitter, hashtag SOCEXP, give us your thoughts. We will, of course, be sharing them with everyone as much as we possibly can. That's it from us. We'll see you next week.